Hello guys, it's Luke Mead here. Today in this video, I'm going to be running you through how to create a Facebook ad as a complete beginner. Let's get straight into it. Here I am inside of Ads Manager. If you haven't been inside of Ads Manager before, you will need to create an account. Simply Google Ads Manager and you can sign up for an account here and sign in. Once you've signed in, the first thing we're going to do is hit create a new campaign. We're inside the campaign tab here and there is a create button in yellow on the left hand side. You can see I've got campaigns in here that I've been running before. Pretend these aren't here because you won't see them. Now, as a quick overview, the way Facebook structures its ads are there's campaigns and inside of campaigns are ad sets and inside of ad sets are ads. Now, the information you put inside of campaigns cascades down into ad sets and in the same way the ad information you put into ad sets cascades down into the ads. So think of it like a waterfall as the data travels through. This will start to make more sense as we create our first campaign. So we're inside the campaign area here and we're going to hit create. This brings up our objective which is set inside the campaign area. In this case you can see there's three categories awareness, consideration and conversion. Awareness is for getting a brand out there. Consideration is for encouraging people to consider your brand and learn about your brand. And conversion is where you finally make them make the sale or make a purchase or they sign up to something. So you want to think about what you want to generate from your ad and choose a relevant objective. Keep in mind each objective has different ad categories, different ad requirements. So if you choose a different topic to me or a different objective to me, your ad setup will look different. In this case, let's just select reach, which is a very simple one, and simply shows your ads to the maximum amount of people possible. So we've set up the campaign here, and you can see that we've selected reach. Our bidding type is auction, just leave all this, leave all the rest of this, and let's give it a name, and let's call it beginners. So that's our campaign done. The next thing we're going to do is our ad set. Our ad set is where the targeting, the budget, and the audience are set. So in here, we want to change our Facebook page to the relevant page we want to use. In this case, I'm just going to use my Facebook page. We can then go and select a budget, whether it's a daily budget or a lifetime budget. So you can see here, I can select lifetime budget and select start and end dates so I won't spend any more money than that total dollar figure across the campaign budget. I can create an audience so this is who I'm going to be targeting. In this case the default is set to Australia and anyone over 18 plus. You can see that on the right hand side Facebook actually gives you a overview of who and of the amount of people this is. In this case there's 22 million of them so that's a quite a big audience. If we want to narrow this audience down, we can actually go in here and edit it. So we can adjust the location, we can delete Australia, and we might just select a city and we might just go Adelaide, which is a city in South Australia. We might select that, and you can see that our audience has been updated to just 1.1 million people. We can do other things like talk about age, gender, demographics, interest, and behavior. But well, that's another episode. We can then hit save this audience and give it a good, a different name. So in this case, we might say beginners. I recommend playing around with the targeting. You can't hurt anything. See what Facebook has to offer and go, go for gold. Underneath here is the placements. This is where Facebook shows your ads. So automatic placements means that Facebook simply just distributes your ads to everywhere it can. Manual placement means you choose where Facebook shows it. So you can see that there's different options from Facebook, Instagram, Audience Network, Messenger. So you can choose wherever you want to have your ad displayed. I will leave out the optimization area down here. That's more of an advanced strategy for reducing your ad costs. Let's hit next. And then this takes us to our ad section. So keep in mind that under your campaign, you can have multiple ad sets and multiple ads within each ad set. 
the idea here is that the budget and targeting you set in the ad set will apply to the ad or the ads beneath it. So in this case, let's rename the ad and just call it beginners ad. You can see that it's linked to my Facebook page already because I set that up here. We can then link it to an Instagram account by connecting to that. If you don't have an Instagram account set up, Facebook simply brands one up for you and creates one for you. Don't worry, you won't be able to find an Instagram. It's only just to allow you to run ads. Now this is where we set up the ads. You can see Facebook gives us a few options. We can create an ad, we can use an existing post, which is something that will be on your Facebook page, or we can use a mock-up in one of the ad tools. In this case, it's most likely to be one of these two you wanna use. If we're creating an ad, there's a few options. We can have a single image or video ad, so just one graphic. We can have a carousel of multiple scrolling images, or we can have a collection, which then open up into a full screen experience. You can play around with these and Google what they are, but I recommend starting with a single image ad or a carousel ad because they're the easiest and people know what to expect when they click on them. In this case, let's add a single image ad. Now you can see Facebook's already loaded some stuff in here. I'm just gonna remove all of this and set it blank. And you can see on the right hand side that Facebook has actually given us a preview of the ad and what it looks like. So in this case, we can start adding some media and add some text into it to create an exciting ad. Now, let's say we wanna include a nice picture of someone going traveling. We can add in a picture. In this case, I've already got some in there, but if you need to upload them, you can upload them. We can then crop this image to make it fit the different placements. Remember back in the ad sets where we selected the different placements? Keep in mind, each of them shows different sized images. So we want to crop the image to fit best. You can see there's the option of original or the recommended size. In this case, go ahead and hit the recommended, the recommended size. And if you want to adjust it again, you can hit crop and play around by zooming in or zooming out and adjusting the image. Like so, there we go. Now we can hit done and you'll see that the ads will start to propagate out here on the right hand side to give us a preview. The primary text is the text that appears above the ad. So in this case, we can write whatever we want. I might just add something quickly. If I could spell. The headline is what appears in the gray area down here. In this case, we might say, come travel. And the description is what appears underneath the headline. Keep in mind there are character limits on this, so try and keep it short and punchy. Come find out why. Now, we can then go ahead and add in our website URL, which Facebook's automatically pulled in for me. In this case, that's fine, but you can adjust this to whatever you want. Last but not least, we can also adjust our call to action. So we can access all these different call to action buttons. Keep in mind, learn more is the most popular and the best to use because it is very generic and people aren't intimidated by it. If you put something in like request time, people are gonna be nervous because it's very formal and it's very, very intimidating to click that button versus learn more is very unintimidating. If you want to convert your ad to different languages, if you're targeting different countries, you can add it here. And last but not least, here we can track our tracking. You can see that I'm tracking website events and I've got my Facebook pixel linked up, but you can turn this on or off if you don't, or you can simply add it if you don't have it in and you're set to go. So guys, to recap what we've done in this tutorial is set up the campaign where we primarily set the objective, in this case, reach. We've then set up the ad set where all the targeting and budget lives. It's almost a technical side of the Facebook ad. You can see we've got our budget, our start date, end date, our audience, and our placement. And then we have our ad that sits underneath this. And this ad will inherit this budget and this targeting, and it will inherit the campaign objective up here. So, 
we can also simply quickly duplicate this add out and have another add in. So if we don't want to have to rewrite something all over again, we can simply duplicate it. So keep in mind up here in the ad set, we set the budget to be $350 for a lifetime. This budget is now going to be evenly or it's going to be distributed between these two ads. So it's not going to apply the 350 budget to each ad. It's going to distribute it and spread it out. So keep in mind, you can play around by duplicating and editing things. In the same way, we can actually duplicate the ad set up here as well. And that's going to allow us to change the targeting for another ad set. You can see that it's also duplicated the ads underneath it as well. And that's the way that the data cascades down. So we can then go into this new ad set. And if we want, we can change the targeting and we might change it to target people, for example, in Melbourne. And we can go in here and do that as so. And then we can hit save as new and call it beginner Melbourne. Now, once you're ready to publish the ad, all you have to go down to is hit the publish button at the bottom right in green, and that is gonna propagate the changes out to Facebook. Keep in mind, this is gonna send you a Facebook ad for review, and if Facebook reviews it, it will start running, pending that your start and end date are either correct. So, once we've got that set up, let's head back to the main navigation here and have a look. So you can see, here's our campaign. If we select that, like a cascading effect before, it's only gonna show the ad sets and ads beneath it. So when we click here, we just see the ad sets that we've got set up. And then if we select both of these again, we'll be able to see all of the ads we've got set up underneath these ad sets. So keep in mind, we can turn each of these levels off. So if we turn off the campaign, it's gonna turn off all the ads and ad sets beneath it. However, if we just wanna turn off a single ad and leave the rest on, we can do that too. In this case, I'm gonna turn everything off because this is just a tutorial. But in your case, you probably wanna leave it on. Now once I've turned those off, that means the ads aren't gonna be running on my account. But in your case, you want to leave them on and you're set to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed making it. Stick around to watch more videos. Thanks, guys. Keep well. Ciao, ciao.